Okay, in this video I'm going to show you very quickly how to demonstrate that the exterior angles in a regular polygon add up to 360 degrees. So to do that I'm going to launch the Polygon Explorer which can be found on the Viznos website. So do that. Start off with a triangle. Okay, so let's display the exterior clockwise. I'm going to move this slider now to make a nice big arc here. So you can see uh, the exterior angles for a triangle are 120. Now let's find a general rule for all polygons in terms of the exterior. So what we do is if we reduce this radius, you'll see all the points come together and they form a circle. And everyone knows that in a circle, the angles are all 360 degrees. And you can see that there with 120 plus 120 plus 120, which is 360. So that's pretty much it. Just to show you it works with other numbers of sides, four for a square, let's change the orientation, move it in, and you see the four parts of a circle, um, four times 90 equals 360, or if you wanted to find the other way around, 360 divided by four gives you 90. If I did it for six sides, you can see it'd be 60, because 360 divided by six is 60 degrees. Just open that up to show the polygon itself. So it's a hexagon there. So it's a quite nice and easy way to demonstrate it, really. Uh, one thing I should point out is, um, in terms of radius, what does radius mean for a polygon? Because that's really associated with a circle. You can show the circle, which is by giving a color. So there you have it there. And on any regular polygon, all the vertices lie on the circle. Uh, you might be asking, well, exterior angles for regular, what about irregular? Well, one way you could do this is move the points or press this random button, which randomizes the polygon itself, or drag points. Now, you can't use the radius here to reduce it because they're all going to be slightly different. They wouldn't come together at the same point, but they still do add up to 360 degrees. So maybe you'd get a class to get the calculators out, add up all the angles and see if that's true. In fact, you can even move on to a concave polygon if it's a more advanced group. And in this case, we'd be adding a negative number, which would compensate for these extra bigger exterior angles, and it would still add up to 360 degrees. Okay, I think that's everything. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Come back for more. Thanks for watching.